Professor Wergelis here. Before we get into the code fix solution, I want to talk about this on click just a little bit more. Now let's think about this. I have five to do's and let's say I place an on click on all of them. So I put on click on click, call the disappear function and pass the keyword this. Well, I have five to do's. Let's say I finish all of them and I have a six to do. Well, I would then have to go and put another on click function. So I'm basically hard coding this on click function and whether I add another to do or subtract a to do, I'm always going to have to put this on click there. So it's not very convenient. What would be nice is no matter how many to do's I have, whether I have five or 10 or 20, I can put an on click on all of them and I don't have to change any of the code. Well, that's what jQuery is going to do here. I'm using a CSS selector, so I'm selecting the to-do's ID, which is right here, and any list item that's a child of the to-do's ID is going to have a click function on it. So if I have one to-do, five to-do's, or 10 to-do's, this click function is going to be added to all the list items that are inside the to-do's ID. So I will automatically get the click function added on those elements, but why is it not working? Remember, HTML is loaded sequentially. So I'm gonna start at the doc type, I'm gonna load the HTML tag, load the head, load the title. The JavaScript external library is gonna be loaded. So jQuery is going to be loaded. Then my internal scripts are going to be loaded. I'm gonna load the function disappear. And I'm gonna to try to load this click. It's gonna to try to select the ID to do's. And it's gonna come down here. It's gonna to go to the body. It's gonna create the ID to do's and all the list items inside of it. So at this point, ID to do's has not been created. I actually need to wait until the document has finished loading. Now we saw the original way, which was to select the document. Let's use the shorthand on this one. So if I put the dollar sign and then have an anonymous function inside, it's going to be the same as the document ready. Now the way I like to look at it is, you'll see here's the dollar sign and here's selecting a document dot ready. And then I have this anonymous function. So if I take everything right here and just get rid of it, you'll see these two lines are the same. So that's why I consider it a short end. I just like to think this anonymous function is the same as this anonymous function and everything in the front you don't need because they made it as a shortcut. But just to leave it there so you see both of them, we're gonna do the ready function. And after the document has finished loading, then we can add the on click because the to-do IDs is there, as well as all the list items. So I'm going to save the code, refresh the page, click on the first to-do, and you'll see Hello World is now being printed. And if I click on all of them, Hello World will be printed. But our goal is not to print Hello World. We wanna do the same thing as what we did before. Now remember, I can use the jQuery this, just like we did in the previous example. And they actually have a function called fade out and I can specify the duration which will be a thousand milliseconds which is also equal to one second so here whatever list item is clicked I'm going to reference the current element and then call the fade out method on that element so if I refresh the page we'll see what happens you'll see I also have a opacity it's being set to invisible but what's really nice about the jQuery is it'll actually remove that element from the rendered page and it'll actually start the next to do item as number one. So let's see here I have number one. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So here's the first to do. Once I click on it, it's going to disappear. And now the next to do will be number one and it's actually going to reorder the list. So if I go back to the elements tab, open up the unordered list, you'll see this one is display none. So it sets it to display none and removes it from the flow of the page. So it's no longer there, thus reordering the list. And it also applies our transition. So I can click on this one. It's gonna reorder the list. This one's number three. I'm gonna click on this one. And you'll see it is doing display none and reordering the list. So what I like about jQuery is it'll actually add more functionality to the things that you're trying to do. Now, if I tried to write that with JavaScript, 
I could do it, but it's not going to be as easy as just calling the fade out method. So let's write some notes. So remember, the first line is we're going to wait for the DOM to finish loading. After the DOM has finished loading, then we're going to set up a function handler for the click events on each list item. But that does not mean the user is going to click on that element. It's just setting up the event listener. So when it's clicked, this function will be fired. Inside the function, I call a fade out. So if clicked, fade the thing that was clicked. In this case, it's going to be the list item. If I put this line elsewhere, it may not be a list item, but in this case it is. And that's what's happening here in the code. We're waiting for the DOM to finish. When it's finished, set up an event handler for clicks. If an element's clicked, fade the thing that was clicked. And this is a really good example of one using the document ready function, and in addition, setting up the event function for clicks. So these are both event functions, which allows us to add functionality on the page. We're gonna go back to the slides. We're gonna take a look at another concept, and then we'll go to the next coding example. We'll see you in the next video.